Hey, what's up guys? It's me, E4ERZ, and welcome back to the brand new video in this YouTube. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make this quick and easy mute slash unmute button in your Roblox game. So, which is similar to this. So when you click on it, you mute your audio. When you click it again, you unmute your audio. So it is pretty simple, guys. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to smack that like button and then subscribe for more. And another thing I wanna like tell you guys is the game I was currently working on yesterday. So yesterday was my first day working on this game. And then it's similar to Please Zone It game where you can claim your stand and then you can customize it by click on this. So you can say hi or anything you want, you know? So hi, there you go. And you can sell your um t-shirt, pants, and then like other like, you know, those like clothing. I don't think Game Pass works, but you know, yeah. So, and uh, people can buy stuff, you know, and you can raise money. So yeah, now let's jump into the tutorial here. Okay guys, so open up your Roblox Studios. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add a mute button. So this is the game I was currently working on too. So it's kind of similar to like clicker simulator where you click and get like this clicks and then you can add like these pets to you know you can add space which I have not implement or I haven't done yet. So yeah um I'm gonna add like a mute UI button something like this over here where you can mute toggle on or off your music. So yeah let's do that. So I'm gonna stop this game here. So first thing first is go to the workspace. If you can see the explorer tab, you can go to view and then click on explorer. Okay, uh, after that, click on the plus and then add a folder. So if you after you add a folder, you can name this sounds and then click on plus and add a sound over here. There you go. And you can name the sound BZM or anything you want. BZM is kind of background music, so I'm going to add BZM. So after you do this, you can go all the way down to the started UI and you can add a screens UI over there. Screens UI, there you go. After you add a screens UI, you can name this music UI, mood UI, anything you want. So you can, uh, I'll name it music UI. After that, you hit the plus and add a text button. Okay, and after you add a text button, you should see something like this over here. After that, you hit the plus again and you add a local script. So this is a scripting part, guys. Uh, to make it easy for you guys, I have a link in the description on the copy paste bin or paste bin where you can copy paste the um, script easily. But I'm gonna show you guys and explain you guys everything in this code here. Alright, so but before we do that, we're gonna go, um, we're gonna add the text over here, alright? So another link I have in the description is about this getemoji.com where you can add like all kind of like copy paste this emojis. So I'll be using uh, this one for the mute and then this one for the unmute. So first I'm going to get this one and then control C to copy and go back to this. And let's customize our button first. So I'm going to click on the button. If you guys can see the properties tab, do the same thing. Properties over here. There you go. After that, you go down here in the button. So you click on the button and then you go down here and you go customize. So on the text, I'm going to add this. Okay. So right now you guys can see. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to increase the size and then make it like a little bit, you know, um, like that size maybe. And I'm going to change the background color to maybe like gray. So I'm going to go pick color, maybe something like this. Okay. Or maybe, hold on. Uh, I'm going to go here and then, yeah. Something, something like this maybe. Okay. So after this, I go uh, increase that a little bit, make it a little bit bigger. I put this over here. And another thing you can add this is the kind of like a, okay, the thing here. Mm, oh, the UI corner. Okay, UI corner is to make it like kind of like a curve over here. So you can do this. Uh, there. Okay, after that, you can customize more if you want. So you can make this a little bit bigger. There you go. Okay. So go to, now the scripting part here, guys. So for the scripting part, let's go to local music. Uh, it goes to game dot workspace dot sounds and dot bzm, which is your background music. Okay, so this is the part um to locate your background music. So you go to game workspace sounds and then bzm. Okay, so this is the first scripting part. Now another thing is about the button here. Local button. It goes to script dot parent. Okay, so this is for the button. Now, um, another thing is the playing one. Playing 
this goes to true uh with the music playing so what you do is you click on the music you added and then you can customize this looped on playing on and then you can uh change your volume to 0 0.1 anything you want how like you know um loud you want or how like low you want and you can preview this too so on the sound id we haven't added any music yet. so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add a music okay so we're gonna go to the home and then we're gonna go to the toolbox so if you guys are a music producer you guys can do this you guys can um mu add your own music which uh is i'll be showing you guys in the next tutorial if you want to see so yeah for easy access here i'm gonna go to model and then go to like audio and then after that i'll go to music and now you search any music you want okay let's go for the monster cat maybe okay so after you select your or find your music you click on the bcm and then you go to the sound id paste it over there okay now you see here your music playing so after that you're done now let's go back to the scripting part here enter script the parent uh dot mouse click button so this is the uh, part where you click the button and then you implement like you um uh, make the thingy work you know mute and unmute so you do this and then you do connect and you do function over there function and then bracket okay after this you go there's a if and else um script commands here so if playing if the music is playing uh it's supposed to it's supposed to true uh then uh music playing okay so music hold on um so music dot playing is supposed to false okay uh uh if music is currently playing then music playing is supposed to false and the button text button the text button this text is supposed to and then you add like the emoji over here so you go here and then you add this one the unmute one okay unmute one go to the this and then you add it over there uh this one here the mute one my bad so you add the mute one over here and then after this uh you go uh enter playing this goes to false okay now else else music playing it's goes to true so else okay so what this means is if music is playing uh if music is playing it goes to true then music playing is goes to false all right when you click on this like when you click on this uh the mute uh icon uh if the music is playing then when you click on this um when you click on the button the music will be stop playing now else if the music is like if else if the music is playing if the music playing is goes to true then button text button the text uh button the text is goes to you add like the another one which is the unmute one which is this one okay so you add this over here now after this you do the same thing playing it goes to true okay now you're done so what you do is you play the game and you should be all good guys it's pretty simple so you can see or you can hear the music here so now what you do is uh whenever you click on this it should work there you go now the music is currently off so when you click it on again you're gonna hear the music click again the music will be muted again the music will be unmuted okay guys so this is pretty simple if you guys enjoyed this kind of tutorial videos don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching guys and have a good day bye bye